But because of your bias, what you're relying is, your reliance is on what was the true experience versus how did I learn to process the information better? And what I'm saying is you just need more information. You need more execution information so that you can put it into your processing engine, your, your wood chipper, right? I call it the wood chipper, right? And be able to produce the right outcome, right? And, and that's the thing that I think leaders are really beginning to take away from what I'm talking about and, and you know, what our platform does is that they start to see, ah, no matter, no matter how good I think I am today, this next shift into the future, I'm, I'm creating a gap. And that's the thing, what I don't understand as a leader is I don't understand how deep or impactful that gap is. And so as a result, I have to have a way to, to reveal that, to flush it out. And in, in once I know what that gap is as a leader, because of my experience, I know how to fix that. That's what I know how to do. I know how to fill that gap. I know how to create stability so that the idea now can actually thrive. It can flourish. It can actually realize its, its potential, right? And then, you know, then it comes down to, is like, was it a bad idea? You know, it's like, that, that's, that's a different evaluation that we, I don't deal with. But what I'm trying to do is get you through the execution piece, because I believe truly that too many good opportunities, too many good ideas are dying in the execution process. Where is the gap in terms of what you're, what you're trying to do? Because if you can see it, you can address it. And the problem is that most leaders can't see, you know, the gap. It's a blind spot. It is the thing that they don't know because they're using assumptions and biases to fill that space because they haven't had access to the data before. And now that data can be available and now they can say, ah, all right, <laughs> you know, we have a vision problem here. So I need to go out and figure out exactly how to, you know, what's driving this and how do I fill that? Because if I fill that vision issue, people will be like, ah, I get it. I'm on board now. Now I can move, right? It's fun to watch it happen. You know, it's fun to watch. Um, I get a lot of satisfaction out of, uh, you know, customers that, you know, uh, apply this model and suddenly they, they see the vulnerability, they see the blind spot, they address it and their idea really takes off. And, you know, they're so excited about that. It, you know, that it's, it's, a real, it's a real joy to see that happen. To those that are listening, I think that it's, your, your challenge is not your ideas. You know, and I'm, and I'm sure that a lot of people feel this way is that they have really good ideas. They have great transformation ideas, great innovation ideas. And what they fear the most is taking it from, is being from here to the point that they can actually see it in action, right? So leverage this type of thought process and, and understanding the gap so you can execute the idea get it to market, get it, you know, within the company, you know, either back office or externally, and then start to see it really flourish. Uh, because the, the thinking that you're doing is good thinking. You know, you've, you, you've got it. Now let's, let's get it there. Thanks, Alex. It was really a pleasure discussing with you your topics. Absolutely. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, I hope uh, folks get a you know, uh, get some value out of this time. 21st Century Entrepreneurship with Martin Piskarik. Spread the word by leaving a rating and review on iTunes.